So it's difficult for people to understand what hunting as a land use practice can do in Africa. There's a lot of proponents that are pushing the banning of hunting, specifically in the UK right now. There's even people in America and California, Connecticut, New York, that are always about banning hunting because they just don't like to see wildlife perish, essentially. So we're on the ground here, right? We're on the ground in a place that is essentially forgotten. Nobody knows about this place. This place is randomly between Vic Falls and Kariba. There's nobody on the Zambian side protecting wildlife. Why? Because it's, there's no viable land use that can potentially put value on wildlife. If you go outside of this area that we're in right now, you're going to struggle to find wildlife. The habitat's really good. You're going to see beautiful acres, hectares, kilometers, square miles of pristine African bush. You're not going to have any wildlife on it. So what would you prefer? This idea of banning hunting, would you prefer to have no wildlife? Or would you prefer to have wildlife? And I think that's the crux of the matter. When it comes down to it, when you decide to put your weight, celebrities, influencers, comedians, behind this idea that you want to ban hunting, in a place like this, the reality of a place like this, is that you're saying you want no wildlife, which makes no sense. Hunting as a land use, yes, takes the lives of select animals, old male animals. But there are thousands of animals that survive, that prosper, that grow populations right here because the land use provides value for them to remain on the ground. That's it. Plain and simple. No ifs, ands, buts about it. What other land use will come in here? Maybe a massive NGO that just has a ton of money, that raises money because they hate hunting, and they just pump money onto the ground here for what? To maintain what's here already with no wildlife? You say you put education on the ground, so do the hunters. You say you put clinics on the ground, so do the hunters. But the model that is sustainable for wildlife, sustainable for the rural communities here, again, in a place that is completely forgotten, there's only one land use that will be able to do it. And it's hunting. You may hate it, but it's the reality on a ground like this in the middle of Zambia.